All right, at this point, uh, our website has come a long way from our very first lines of code that uh, we did at the very beginning of this class. So, pretty exciting. Uh, our website actually looks like a website now. A couple steps uh, before we actually launch our website. The first thing we're going to do is go through four site launch checklist, uh, a four step site launch checklist. We're going to one, validate your pages, then check spelling, then check for broken links, and then run a site report just to see if it catches anything that we might have missed. Uh, generally speaking, you're going to find a few errors even along the way. Of course, this whole time as we've been in Code View, you probably have caught most of your errors. So if you're seeing any red numbers in any of your code, no, code lines, that gives you an indication that there's something about that code line that Dreamweaver doesn't like. That's going to be not only for your HTML pages, but also for your CSS pages. And the other part of this is some of the tools that we have built in Dreamweaver allow you to do it site-wide. Some of these things you're just going to have to do page by page. Uh, so the first one we're going to take a look at is validating your web page. There is a place on the web site called uh, validate oops <coughs> the validator.w3.org now this is a tool put together by the worldwide consortium worldwide web consortium that lets you check any website for proper code uh, since we don't actually have our web files up yet uh, this obviously isn't going to do us any good, but there is a way to let Dreamweaver check it before we upload, and this is the service that it's using. So you can put that little bookmark, validator.w3.org, uh, into your web browser so you can always access that quickly to test any website for markup validation. All right, let's come back to Dreamweaver. So what we're going to do is we're going to want to validate all of our code. So there's a couple different uh, places you go to check different things. Um, in this case, we go to File, Validate, and we're going to validate current document. This was one that you're going to have to do page by page. And it says you want to do all this, blah, 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 and you hit OK. In this case, we got several errors. Um, most of them, looks like most of them are because I have some inline styles uh, with my table. In this case, it's saying use CSS instead. So I could go in and eliminate those one by a time until I got to zero or near zero errors. Uh, and, and it'll tell you what you need to fix. Now in this case, this one's an interesting one because uh, the value includes a pipe because we combine two Google fonts in the same. This is saying that the, that's an illegal character, but the funny thing is, is we copied that uh, character by character from Google. So that's probably one we could ignore. If I really wanted to change that one, I would create two uh, font code lines there. So I would have had to copy it for Arvo and I would have had to copy it for Oswald and then that would eliminate that error. I'm not going to bother changing to these right now but this would give you an idea of what validation errors you have with the worldwide consortium of web. And you could go and pick fix each one of those. So that's validation and you would do that one page at a time. The next thing we have is spelling. This again is another one. You could select test. Uh, this is another one you have to do one page at a time and you can select text that you want to test or select nothing if you want it to have it check for everything. So in this case we come up here to commands and these all kind of seem to be in obscure areas like some of it this the last one was in file this one is in commands and so we're going to just go ahead and run check spelling it finds some words that are not in the dictionary you could certainly add it to your personal dictionary so if you don't want this word to keep coming up every time it comes up 
you could add it to your library. Uh, I can choose to ignore one instance of it or I can ignore every instance of it. I'll go ahead and click ignore all. Here's a Drabble. I'm going to add that to my personal. Lorem, we got a lot of stuff that's going to be in Lorem Ipsum. So if you've got placeholder text with Lorem Ipsum, you're probably going to go through quite a bit uh, on this tool. So probably not uh, not a whole lot of value to go check the spelling of your Lorem Ipsum. But I, th I think you get the idea. And if you wanted to change it, you can type in what you want it changed to and then go ahead and click change. All right, so that's the spell checker. We can also edit the site for broken links. Now this is one where it does it for the entire site. So that's nice that we don't have to open every page one at a time. But this uh, will check links site-wide. So in this case, I don't have any broken links except this is one that it doesn't recognize. And this was a phone number that we put in. And so that one's going to be OK. Not going to worry about that one. If I did have broken links, I would want to double click on it to open the page. And then it immediately takes you to where that link is. And then you could fix it right there. All right, so that's the link checker. And the last one is going to be run reports. This one is also under site. We go to reports and you can check workflow. I'm not going to worry about that since I'm the only person who's been working on this site. But if you were doing this as a team, you could see if there are any files still checked out by anybody and if there are any design notes that need to be cleaned up, etc. Uh, but for these, I'm going to check all of my HTML reports. It's going to look for improperly nested tags. Uh, it's also going to look for missing alt text, nest, uh, redundant tags, and anything that I left untitled. Uh, sometimes as you create new pages, you forget to go add a page title. So let's run this report. And this case looks like everything checks out. If you had an error, it would show up in here and then you could click through to that page and fix it. So those are all the those are all the site launch checklist items that you have to make sure your site's ready to go the best you possibly can before we actually put it up onto the web server.